Hi guys, welcome to Handy and Easy. Today we're in the kitchen and we have just installed this color kitchen faucet. I'm leaving a link in the description below in case you would like to know how I did it. After some time, we noticed that there is a small leak between this plate and the sink. We found some water drops that were getting under the sink. The issue here is that this plate's gasket is not making a good seal with the sink. In most cases, this should not happen as this plate's gasket should prevent water from coming in. But if you are getting a leak, I will show you how to seal this plate so that you don't have any water under the sink. So let's get started! There are two ways for sealing this plate. The first one is the easiest and you will have to use 100% silicone clear cock. You will just apply it throughout the entire edge of the plate to make a good seal. Although this is the easiest method, it can be sometimes messy. The second method involves using plumber's potty. Although this method requires more work, it is the cleanest and most aesthetic in my opinion. Make sure that you select the correct plumber's potty. The one that I used here is compatible with stainless steel, but if your sink is made from a porous material such as granite, you will need a stain-free potty to avoid staining your sink. For using this method, we'll have to remove the faucet from the sink in order to get access under this plate. Before starting any work, remember to shut off both the cold and the hot water valves under the sink. Now that we are under the sink, you can see here that I have a retaining ring that is holding the faucet assembly with the sink. Uh, this will vary from mold to mold, but you, you could also have a retaining knot. The thing is that we must remove this retaining ring or knot in order to, to free the, the faucet assembly and gain access to the bottom of the faucet plate. In my case, I only have two screws, one on the front and one on the back, that uh, hold the retaining ring. It will be very easy to remove them, but this will vary from uh, mold to model. Now that we have removed the retaining ring or not, we will be able to pull out the faucet assembly like this. Fortunately, these hoses were long enough so that I could remove the faucet and gain access to the bottom section of the plate without actually having to remove the entire assembly. But in case you're having trouble uh, removing the faucet, I will leave a link in the upper corner section here so that you can watch a video on how I completely removed an, an old faucet that I had. I'm also going to leave that link in the description below. Now we'll take a chunk of our plumber's body and then we'll insert, uh, insert it in this hole that we have here and then we will just try it, uh, to extend it all over the place. Make sure that uh, you don't you don't go uh, past the the gasket section here. As a note, make sure that the plumber's body is at level or a little bit above the level of the gasket, so that when we install the faucet, uh, the plumber's body will be squeezed and will generate uh, the seal we are looking for. Now we'll continue covering uh, the rest of this uh, plastic section and once you're finished, uh, make sure that you uh, do the same thing on the other hole and on this entire other side. Now 
Now that we have finished placing the body, we are ready to install our faucet back again. Take the faucet and insert it in the middle hole, like this. Afterwards, make sure that everything is aligned, including the, the plate. After making sure that all parts are aligned, have someone hold the faucet at the top so that you can install the retaining ring or retaining nut in the, under the sink. Now we'll install the retaining ring back again and tighten the two screws. The fixation method will vary from model to model. Now that everything is tight, we'll be able to see that the plumber's body generated a seal around the two holes that the faucet plate is covering. With this, we'll ensure that no water comes out of these holes. And with this, we conclude our video. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for all the materials that I used in case you're interested. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Handy and Easy, and as always, have an excellent day.